just ringing to say I hope it all goes well. Uh, and I think Dad said he's going to ring you later. So I'll speak to you soon. Love you. Bye. Message received at 9.45 a.m. Next message. Hey, Jen. Congrats on getting your first piece. Um, I know one story. Uh, there's a homeless guy who sits outside the station and calls himself Dynamite Dave. Um, it looks like a wrong one, but he means no harm. Um, actually, he has quite an interesting tale about Edwards. It wasn't the fire. It was, it was what happened after the fire. I've talked to, talked to so many people about it, but no, nobody really cares. Anyway, uh, the fee we discussed for, for me giving you information. I can't talk with a dry mouth. Dave. Dave. Can we please get this interview done? <coughs> right. So, there was a fire. I remember being trapped. I remember looking up and the beam was covering the door. There was, there was no way I could have got through the door. There were flames all around me. It was an inferno. There was just everywhere I looked, fire, just fire. And this, this is what I can't explain. There was, there was no way, there was no way out of the room. So how did, how did someone get in the room and carry me down to the street? I, to this day, I, I don't know. Thanks, Dave. No, no, thank you, Anna. Anyway, what's it for? Oh, uh, I work for a website called Firewire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not exactly world changing, but it's all experience. <laughs> I had quite the surreal interview this morning. What's the idea? Um, urban mythology, like how legends are made and how they relate to contemporary society. What's the story? Well, I spoke to a man called Dynamite Dave, and I, I know that you don't like it when... You can't do this. Why? Oh, let's see. Does a raging alcoholic who calls himself Dynamite sound good to well, you? Well, I was trying Let to, but... me finish. We're talking about a man who's deluded himself into thinking I'm some kind of superhero. He wasn't going to be sincere. I mean, considering most stories we write, How this same vein reads is that we're mocking someone who's mentally ill. How did you even get to this? Well, Stuart told me about... Stuart. You need to get a story up by tonight. I suggest you get to it. You lied about Edwards, didn't you? What? Some of us actually have work to do. I hope you found it worthwhile. Oi! The fuck 
are you on about? I didn't lie. There were others there. Do your research. And that's for the money. It's never about the money. Hi there, um, it's Jenny Adams, uh, I'm a journalist from uh, the um, online magazine Viwire. Um, I'm writing about an incident that happened a year ago when the building next door burnt down. Yes, yes. Um, I was wondering if I could get a copy of the CCTV footage from your building. Would that be okay? Ah, oh, perfect, thank you. What do you think you're playing at? Are you thick? What part of drop the story don't you understand? Answer me! Why did you lie? Excuse me? Denying the entire thing is a bit odd, don't you think? Now you listen to me, you girl. Don't you ever Dave go above- said he was on the top floor. How did you manage to get up to the top and back down again so quickly? It doesn't make any sense. Shut up! Pack up your shit. You don't work here anymore. You are listening to a. Jenny? What are you doing? You have wasted three years of my life making me chase people with half the talent. Jenny, listen to me, okay? Look, hurting me won't help. I'll write your great reference. I don't want to hurt you. I want to prove it. <laughs> There's nothing to... Stop lying! Edwards. Can you hear me? Edwards! Oh I killed him. Um, cut in the road. No way. <laughs>